have only one season to build a super team. The team has to reach at least 90 overall or end up as Super Bowl champions. And if I fail, the consequences are severe. Now be warned, I'm gonna use every exploit possible to build this super team. But first, I need to spin this wheel of the 20 lowest rated NFL teams to see who we build our super team on. And it looks like we get the Detroit Lions. I mean, I'll definitely take that. I mean, this is for sure a good squad to start with. But considering the fact this defense only has one starter over 80 overall, we have a lot of work to do to turn this team into a super squad. Now, if I do end up failing today's challenge, I have to buy the co-highest rated player in all of Madden and discard him for literally a measly 100 coins. I don't have enough coins for this nonsense. Now, trading away most of these draft picks is going to be absolutely vital in building this super squad, which does bring me to our exploit. I'm going to sign as many free agents as humanly possible, like Deron Harmon here. Also, I'll go ahead and sign Leonard Fournette, and we're going to try to flip these free agents into the best draft picks possible, like anything helps, such as this second, third, and fourth round pick we literally just got from the Chiefs. But rather or not, this method is good enough to build a super squad remains to be seen. I mean, some of these free agents, like Lyle Collins, might be good enough to start for our squad. Like, Casey Hayward's another good veteran too? Problem is a lot of these free agents are old, so we might not get that good of draft picks in return, but again, anything helps. Rashawn Evans is another decent one. Literally every single one of these guys is gonna end up helping. Best wide receiver out there is Jarvis Landry. After this one, we'll come back and sign some free agents later. I mean, just from doing that, the team's already up to an 81 overall. But first things first, I do wanna try and improve some defensive positions. I'm gonna see if we can begin by getting a solid outside linebacker. Odds we could get Danielle Hunter here. Alec Anzalone here. We also can throw in one of those corners we just got. Actually, for now, we'll throw in Cameron Sutton instead. How about the free safety that we just got to submit this through? Okay, it's in the red, which I guess that's fair. So for now, let's just try draft picks. Like, is a second round pick enough? Definitely not. So maybe Danielle Hunter's out of our price range for now. So I want to make sure I'm getting the best deal physically possible. How about Josh Allen here, not the QB? I mean, there could be a little potential here. How about a second, two players, and a third? At least shows some promise. It's in the green. How about our backup quarterback here, Teddy Bridgewater? Is this enough to bring in a brand new outside linebacker? No. But what if we offer the better second round pick. This has got to be super, super close. Look at that. So maybe we offer a better player than Teddy B. How about Marvin Jones here? A seven overall increase? Oh my god. Like from here though, like I would think, you know, a seventh round pick or so should be enough to see the deal through. Bruh. That There's not even space in between. How about a six round draft pick from next year instead of a seventh? And that's just stupid. A seventh from 2025? I'm trying to milk every Everything possible out of every single deal. And yes, my friends, Josh Allen is now a Detroit Lion. I mean, already that brought the teams overall up to 82 with an 81 defense. So that's an incredible start. Now I do want to see here what I can turn Lyle Collins into. Like there's got to be a team or two out there interested in him, I think. Gotta say, some of these offers out there are absolutely terrible. There's got to be a team willing to give me a first round pick for him, right? I think I overestimated that big time. But don't forget we have some other players we can throw in there. Maybe we can get a first round pick out of this package. Maybe the Bills will give me pick number 28. Look how close that is. Now from here, how about that seventh we just got from the Jags? Come on, give me an extra first round pick. That's so dumb. Swap Rashawn Evans for this free safety and it went way backwards. So another seventh round pick should be enough to get us another first and it is. Now let's see what we can turn that pick we just got into. We just clicked the get offers button. I mean, there's some pretty decent players out there I'm getting offered, but like I still feel like I could do a little bit better. No big deal, you know. We just turned that first round pick into Deontay Johnson, Cole Holcomb, and Levi Wallace. I mean, the defense already looks quite a bit better than what we started with. Team still stays at an 82. But like, keep in mind, even if we don't end up building a 90 overall team, like all we have to do at that point 
let's just build a Super Bowl winner to save my Muck Coins. Right now, let's try and get a better offensive guard. Wonder if there's any decent offensive linemen we could get for like, what, a third round pick? Well, this wasn't close. And we got our brand new starting right guard. Took three mid players, a third, and a fifth round pick. And to my surprise, it didn't boost our team overall, but our offense is up to an 84. I wonder if we could possibly improve our quarterback position even if it was just by like two or three overall gonna go ahead and sign a few more free agents for now getting all the cornerbacks there's still some decent offensive linemen available the best qb available out there is pj walker like what could you get for a 66 rated quarterback and while we're at it like why not just go ahead and add carson wentz even if he got us like a six round pick i'll take that and we just go and get kirk cousins straight up i did not expect that that at all i mean i'll take the three overall increase team overall still stays the same though for the overall sake here on offense we still probably need a better overall tight end although sam laporte is a beast we just went and picked up 86 overall darren waller no big deal or anything we just had to part ways with a few players and a future second but i'll take this deal all day every day and finally at least the team was improved up to an 83 overall with an 85 off Defense and an 81 defense we still have a long long ways to go to reach that 90 though now defensively we've got to get a better d tackle we need a better left in we need a better right outside linebacker we need a better everything really and here we go adding the d tackle that we really needed and all we really had to do was trade away some free agents and a fourth from next year we need some more free agent depth though a few linebackers out there still available in free agency that at least could help us out for now i wonder what we could get in a trade for kicker and punters this is like my 20th free agent we've signed like hopefully it's worth it actually while we're here let's just sign cole beasley screw it i promise this is it Kenyon drake welcome to the squad safe to say we need to get rid of a few players and as things stand i mean we are up to an 84 overall with an 85 offense and an 83 defense there's still just like so much potential i actually cannot believe this the Bengals actually gave me a second round pick for this package there is no way the Saints just gave me a future third and a fifth for this. Just add another third and fifth round pick for this package. And the Eagles just give me a second round pick for this hot garbage. I actually cannot believe that we just pulled off a second round pick for three duds and a third and a fifth. Now let's just go ahead and see what we can turn some of these second round picks into. We actually just got Jerry Judy and a much better left guard for Justin Pugh and two of those seconds which now brings the teams overall up to 85 with an 87 offense and an 83 defense if we can get this defense just looking half decent honest to god 90 overall might very well be possible let's see if we can finally get a better defensive in and outside linebacker you know what i'll take 83 rated Kalias campbell for a couple of pickles and a third round pick now if we can actually get a good outside linebacker here we might really be starting to cook and we do go out and improve that outside linebacker position with Shaq Barrett for a pack of popcorn and a few late round picks which does keep the team at an 85 overall but the defense did boost up to an 84 and there's still so much work to be done but in the meantime I'm gonna sign a little bit more depth I mean we are gonna run out of free agents eventually oh no I guess we're just gonna have to settle for Travis Etienne at running back that's a pretty good improvement unfortunately does keep the team at an 85 overall now where do i try to improve this defense ah uh, too bad i only get another second round pick for this package and that my friends is another second round pick now the Bengals are giving us a second from next year for this this is wild and while we're at it you know just grabbing the bills second round pick from this year now the seahawks giving me a third and a sixth for this garbage and while we're at it just flipping some more getting another second and another four now what on god's earth can i do with all these second round picks Let's just try using the trade finder here and i mean there's some decent offers for sure starting off with devondre campbell and rasul douglas from the packers for malcolm butler two seconds in the next year 
year's third, which finally again has boosted the team's overall up to 86 with an 87 offense and an 85 defense. I'm telling you, this defense is starting to look nasty. And we continue to improve our squad, adding Sneed and Trey Smith from the Chiefs. For powers, Kyle Fuller, two seconds and a seven, which again improves the team up to an 87 overall across the board. And the funny thing is too, man, I still have so many draft picks to use. I'd like to thank Pristine Auction for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know about PristineAuction.com, they are the most trusted sports memorabilia and collectibles auction site. Auctions on PristineAuction.com start at literally just $1, and each day there's over a thousand autographed items available, so you can win signed authentic signatures at an affordable price. And deals are always happening on PristineAuction.com, and they have just about every player you could want, including Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, and so many more. And every item on PristineAuction.com comes with a certificate of authenticity from the industry's most reputable authenticators. PSA, Beckett, Fanatics, and more. Upgrade your collection of signed memorabilia today and get $10 off your first item one when you use my registration code RBT. But wait, Pristine Auction has supplied me with a giveaway for you guys. Here's your chance to win a Justin Jefferson signed Vikings full-size flash alternate speed helmet. Literally, all you have to do is sign up to their website using my registration code RBT to be entered. And the links to sign up to Pristine Auction will be in the description box below. I am going to sign one more round of free agents, though. Try to make sure I get the best picks possible. I think Carl Joseph here makes probably the 20th free agent I just went out and signed. I can't believe I still have three first-round picks and multiple seconds with still more players to trade away and more picks to acquire, starting by literally getting a free fourth for a kicker and punter. Here, trading up a bit to get a third-round pick. Again, cannot believe that the Steelers gave me their third for this package. No big deal, just getting myself another second round pick. Again, I'll gladly take another third. In complete shock that this package got me a free fourth. You know, just another free third. I'll gladly take a next year's fourth for this. And yet again, another free fourth. And just another little extra fourth as the cherry on top. Now I've got to find the best way to use all of these picks. How about two thirds and two fourths for starters? I want to make sure we get a player that improves our team one way or another and all these deals kind of suck i will gladly start off by getting the small two overall upgrade at the quarterback position with a healthy aaron Rodgers, which doesn't boost the team overall but does bring the offense up to an 88 and as much as i love brian branch it's our number one team need so we probably need to upgrade this one way or another and you best believe i'll take the addition of cameron curl to the squad took a bunch of draft picks but a big boost to strong safety Maybe I can go ahead and improve from Shaq Barrett here. And we sure do with the acquisition of Dre Greenlaw, 85 overall from the 49ers. Now odds, we can improve our left guard position. And we sure do with the addition of Elton Jenkins to the squad, which now officially has the team up to an 88 overall with an 89 offense and an 88 defense. Still have to find a way to improve by two overall. Maybe we can improve defensive tackle a little bit. And we do by acquiring DJ Reader 87 overall from the Cincinnati Bengals, which we still do have a first, second, and third from this year and two future firsts, and we still have to use those to improve the team up to overall. Like, we're getting so close, but yet we're still so far away. I still do have one trick up my sleeve here, though. What I am going to do is go ahead and advance into week one of the regular season and see if any decent overall players get cut throughout the preseason and then I could pick them up and flip them for picks again. Now, that was just a hypothesis. I have no idea here if there's going to be good free agents available. <laughs> and boys, would you look at that? I mean, it's not incredible free agents, but uh, I think I can work with this. Again, I am going to sign as many free agents as I physically can here. I will make use of every single one of these players, I promise you. So I think it's safe to say I win a little ham. Do I have what it takes to improve this 
team by at least two more overall to save my mutt coins. The Chiefs coming in clutch again, giving me another second round pick. This time, the Chiefs giving me a future third and fifth round pick. Grabbing another third here from the Seahawks. This time, finessing the Colts for their third round pick. This time, trading up to acquire a second from the Baltimore Ravens. Another third added this time from the Rams. Oh, what do you know? Another third here from the Dolphins. I think I'm going to try and acquire one more pick for now. And yes, we get another third this time from the Packers. Now, let's see what we can actually use these picks on. A decent little improvement here at the wide receiver position. Picking up Chris Godwin. Having to trade away Deontay Johnson a couple of scraps and two thirds. Unfortunately, that didn't bump up our overall at all. So maybe for now, I do need to focus on defenders. Another slim improvement, but something's better than nothing. Zadarius Smith, a two overall upgrade from Calias Campbell, two pickles and a second round pick. Another improvement this time by the middle linebacker position. We get CJ Mosley from the Jets for Cole Holcomb, Nick Scott, Matt Britta, and a third round pick. Please tell me that bumped my overall at least by one. Oh no, dude, we're still at an 88. Like, what do I try and do now? Upgrade a cornerback? We actually went with the left tackle upgrade, adding Jordan here from the Eagles. Little four overall boost, which has finally brought the team's overall up to 89 with a 91 offense and an 88 defense. All we have to do is just upgrade one more overall, dude. And I guess the best bet probably is a cornerback, which we finally have acquired our biggest superstar of the day yet, bringing in Tredavious White with a fourth round pick for Rasul Douglas, a couple of pickles, a first and a second round pick, which we literally only have five draft picks remaining, which I've got to use wisely because we still haven't hit the 90 overall yet, which I'm not going to lie, I'm confused because I'm looking at the free agents and there is a, a few higher overalls available now, which I am going to sign a few of them, not to use for draft picks, but to potentially use as fillers and deals because I need everything possible right now. Continuing to slowly improve this time acquiring Wyatt Teller from the Browns and a fifth for Trey Smith, Raheem Mostert, Leonard Floyd, and a third. This is literally coming down to the wire. More improvements this time on the defense, adding Honey Badger to the squad. Had to trade away CJ Gardner-Johnson, Leonard Fournette, Richie James, a third, fourth, and a fifth, which only leaves me with my two first round picks. We're about to complete an absolute massive deal here, dude. Submit it through, and it was accepted. We acquire Brian Burns and J.C. Horn from the Carolina Panthers for Dre Greenlaw, Levi Wallace, a bag of Q-tips, and a 2026 first round pick. I have got to make this first round pick count. I've got to. I mean, T. Higgins, I mean, some pretty good players. Greg Newsome. I have got to construct the best possible deal to bump our overall as much as possible because my team has got to reach 90 overall. They've got to. And it's officially been done. Jonathan Allen, 90. 93 overall added to the Detroit Lions for Rodney McCloy, DJ Reader, Jackson, and our first round pick. Now the question, dudes, is that enough to bring the team's overall up to 90? If not, dude, I am screwed. The moment of truth. Yo! We actually hit a 91 overall across the board. Somehow, someway, it was so freaking stressful. We have actually assembled a super team. And if for whatever reason you don't think this is a super team or a 91 overall, which is a higher overall than any other team in the league. Better than the Cowboys, the Dolphins, the Eagles, even the 49ers. That's got to be the best offensive line in the league. And honestly, as a unit, I think we have the best skill position players. We've got to have the best secondary, the best linebacker core, the best defensive line. And now that we've assembled our super team, the next question is, can this super team actually actually go on a Super Bowl run, which they're by far the highest overall team in the league, so they should. And we only went out there and won 14 games while earning the one seed in the NFC. Took me three hours to build this team. We've gotten too far not to make it to the Super Bowl. I mean, we constructed a top five offense and the best defense in the entire league. I mean, aside from the interception total, that's a pretty good season from Aaron Rodgers. And Etienne and Jameer Gibbs ended up being a pretty solid one-two punch at the running back position. And out of all of our receivers, no, I did not expect Darren Waller to be our leader. We actually had three guys with over 10 sacks. Poor 
quarterbacks. Now, just for the memes, did Aaron Rodgers win MVP? No, it goes to Patrick, but at least Aaron did come in the top 10. But who cares about awards, bro? We're trying to win the Super Bowl, which in the divisional round, we're gonna be taking on the Minnesota Vikings, our division rival. There is no shot we lose our first game. One win away from the NFC Conference Championship game, and we got the dog, but we have to take on Madden 24's favorite team. I mean, that is complete domination. We're playing at home. We have the higher overall. I'm telling you, man, I'm clicking this button, and we better, and I mean better, be in the Super Bowl. And we are. Let's go. We actually beat the Cowboys by 10 points. This might be the best team of all time. I mean, we've already built the Super Team. Let's end things off the right way with the Lombardi Trophy. There is no way we have made it this far just to lose. If we lose, I'm going to cry. Fast start. 7-0 leader. Defense coming up big. 10-0 in the first quarter. Come on. 17-0. Talk about a Super Team. Now 20-3. Come on now. Keep it going. Come on. 23-6. No way Patrick has it in him. There's no way. There is no way. 30 to 6, 30 to 12. The super team gets it done. Absolutely demolishes Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And let me tell you something, boys. I think I might have just built one of the best teams in NFL history. Down goes Patrick as yours truly has brought the first ever Super Bowl to Detroit. And as the super team hoists the Lombardi Trophy, I'm just happy I get to save my mud coins. Now, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, you can click right here to watch another video on the channel that I promise you'll enjoy just as much as you did this one.